So when you set up Divi, you were able to set up your link color. For instance, I chose this yellow and you did that by being on your dashboard, coming down here to theme customizer, going to general settings, typography, and then here you could change your body link color. You could have made it blue or green. I chose yellow. But there's nowhere on here that shows you how to like underline it or if you need to have a custom color within another module. For instance, my yellow would not look good in this yellow module here. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to do some custom CSS styling. Now if you do not have a child theme, you would come here to Divi theme options down here to custom CSS and make the changes that I'm going to show you. Now I have a child theme. So I'm going to come up to Appearance and Editor. If you don't have a child theme, I did do a video on the one that I have. So you may want to take a look at that. I do recommend you have a child theme. So you can go ahead and check that out. So I've already got everything started here. So I have A colon link and A colon hover because those are the two that I'm going to be working with. So let me show you that real quick. So if I wanted to change the color of my link, so this would actually override what's in the Customize panel. So let's just say I wanted to make it, well let's make it white since my my text is black. So I wanted to make my link white, I would go here A colon link color FFF and then we come over here to my page and I refresh it. You'll see my yellow links are now white. If I wanted to have an underline underneath it, I could do something like border, bottom, say two pixel, dashed. Then come over here and refresh it. You can now see I have a dash underline underneath my link. If I wanted to add a background color to it, so put it in like a box, and do background color, I don't know, let's just choose this brown. Put a little padding around it. Let's update it. Okay, come over here and refresh it. And now you can see I have a box around it. So those are just some of the things you can do styling your link beyond what Divi allows you to do. Now, personally, I don't want to do any of that. So I'm going to get rid of all of that. I'm going to update it. So now you can see when I come back here, it's back to its original state. What I want to do is mess around with the hover. So what I want is when I hover over it, I just want to have a little dash line underneath it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down here under the hover one, type in border, bottom, make it two pixels, and I want my line to be dashed. So I'm going to put dashed. I'm going to update my file. I'm going to come over here and refresh. So now when I hover over it, you can see I get that dashed line there. So what if I wanted to put a link here in the yellow? Obviously that yellow that I've created is not going to look good. So I'm going to enable my visual builder so I can put a link in there. So this would be for any link you create. So let's put a link in here real quick. I'm just going to put a pound in there. So as you can see it is now linked but you cannot read it. So let me show you what to do here. I actually don't need that anymore so I'll get rid of it. I'm going to give this a unique name. I'm going to call it Green Link. And we want it to be for all links where I have this unique name. So I'm going to make it, I'm going to make the color green. I'm going to do the same thing here and I want this time I want it to be for the hover so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and put that there I'm going to update my file I'm going to copy over this name now, if I was using a previous version of Divi, I would do this from the Divi Builder. So all of this is the same. So I'm going to come over here to my CSS class. I'm going to drop in the name of that link. I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to save this. And now I need to refresh my screen because I need to reload that Divi style sheet that I just created.
So now when I come down here, you'll see my link is green. And when I hover over it, you get the dashed lines. So if you have different background colors, you need to have different link colors. That's how you do it. You just come in here to your CSS and create a custom class for your link. So as you can see, we do have the dashed lines underneath our links, but we also have them up here and on our logo because these are also all links. So we need to clean this CSS up a little bit to ensure that we keep them on these links, but we remove them from these links. So let's do that for our last step. So we're gonna come back to our CSS. So just type hashtag top menu link. We want the link, so we're gonna type in the A, then the curly brackets. And what we wanna do is we wanna remove this border, this bottom border here. So we're gonna type in border, bottom, none. So when it comes into the top menu div here, it's gonna replace this dashed border bottom with no border bottom. So let's go ahead and update that. Come here to refresh it to load the new style sheet. So we can see we still have the dashed lines here, but when we come up to this menu, into our logo, there are no more dashed lines. All right, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. All right, we'll see you next time.